It'll travel the length and breadth of the British Isles and the public will make up most of the 8,000 runners. A year before the Olympic torch arrives on our shores, the London 2012 committee has given details of some of the locations it will visit. They've also launched a search for inspirational torchbearers and they want half of them to be young people. Rules me out. Our Home Affairs correspondent Andy Davis reports. Land's End, Cornwall this morning. This is where this time next year, amid a lot more fanfare, no doubt, than this, the Olympic torch it was revealed today will start its journey in Britain. In London, the choreography was a little more staged. This is where the organisers said they wanted the public now to nominate many of the 8,000 people who will carry the torch around Britain. The campaign has a slogan, Moment to Shine. It was another slick production from the 2012 organisers. Do you know someone who's truly inspirational? Someone who always pushes beyond their personal best? My friend Lindsay for all her cancer charity work. Jeff, a former GB cycling coach. There was the video and there was the speech. Seb, Lord Coe, eulogising the Olympic flame as he reminisced about running with it last year at the Winter Olympics in Vancouver. I shall never forget listening transfixed to the personal odysseys of those with me that day who also took part in the relay. For many, it had changed their lives. As it made its journey across Canada's huge landmass, Vancouver's Games became Canada's Games. That is London 2012's intention too. Ours will be a Games that takes place on your doorstep. The torch begins its journey in Land's End on May the 19th next year. It will travel through the southwest to Wales to locations including Cardiff and Bangor. It then heads via the northwest in the Isle of Man to Northern Ireland, arriving in Belfast on June the 6th. Then it's over to Scotland for a week, including visits to the islands of Orkney, Shetland and Lewis. The torch then begins its journey back south through every English region. Stops include York on June the 19th, Derby on the 29th, Cambridge on July the 7th. By the 14th of July, it's in Southampton. Then, after a journey through the southeast, it spends the week before the Games in London. And this, of course, is where it'll end up on the 27th of July next year, the day the London Olympics begin. And by then, they reckon the torch, this much vaunted symbol of the whole Olympic movement, will have travelled 8,000 miles around the UK over 70 days. It will be quite some build up. In Birmingham today, where the Jamaican team will train next year, there was already much excitement. It's going to be wicked, I'm going to watch it. I feel really excited and it's an honour they're going to be coming to Birmingham and everyone else is going to come. I'm excited about Usain Bolt because he's going to be like, he's the fastest runner and I cannot wait for him to come on like TV and I can watch him run. But the torch relay is not without risk. Because when the Olympic flame last appeared in the UK three years ago, en route to the Beijing Olympics, there were remarkable, at times, ludicrous scenes as pro-Tibetan and human rights activists spotted a perfect opportunity for protest. Channel 4 News understands Scotland Yard has already got 28 officers in training and eight in reserve to run in shifts around the whole Olympic torch route. In the context of security, it'll certainly be a very different picture from the torch relay of 1948, the year Britain last held the Olympics. Andy Davis reporting, and to see if the Olympic torch is coming to a town near you, and to find out how to nominate someone to carry it, go to our website, channel4.com forward slash news.